In case you haven't caught on by now, I love Pokemon and consider myself an expert. And with Black and White 2 coming out in America soon, I'd like to talk about them. They came as a surprise to the fans who were expecting Pokemon Grey. But I saw them coming. Sorta. Of. I was surprised by Black and White 2, but I knew Nintendo would do something like it. Something different from Gen 4. I know this because Pokemon games tend to follow a few patterns. In this video, I will show why Black and 2 were obvious, explain why we didn't get new evolutions, show why we won't get Ruby and Sapphire remakes, and show what games will come out in Generation 6. Here's a diagram of the Pokemon games before Gen 5. Here's a diagram of the Gen 5 Pokemon games. Instead of two games followed by third later on, it's two followed by two later on. Why breaks a pattern? Or did they break the pattern? Remember the remakes? There's the same diagram with the remakes included. So each odd game changes the amount of games for it and the even game following it. And if you include green and the ori games, the odd games are different. Now on to if there would be new evolutions. Each Eevee is unique in that it has Eevee is unique in that it has seven different evolutions. The Eevee evolutions. We didn't get any evolutions in generation three and five. Those are also the generations without any new evolutions, which means that Gen six will have new evolutions and evolutions. We won't get Ruby Sapphire remakes. Because that will mean that there will be remakes of Diamond and Pearl in Generation 6, which doesn't make much sense. So Generation 6 will have two games released originally that will include evolutions, followed by sequels and whatever else comes out in Generation 5. And if some game doesn't work, they won't get incarnations in Generation 6. And that is what Generation 6 will be like.